live in the best of houses. We had we had none of the luxuries. There was no TV. Couldn't afford a TV. No cars. No extra money. Uh, clothes got passed down from one child to the other as long as they were still wearable. You know, it wasn't like go out and get new clothes. Christmas. There was hardly anything called Christmas. I mean, times were too hard. And we had just passed through, like I say, slavery had just recently been abolished. And some of the tales that they would tell about slavery was, was really break your heart. First, it anger you. Because you get angry thinking that, why would somebody treat somebody like that? Why would, why would they do that? And they haven't gotten to know you. It's all the color of your skin. And so first anger takes over. Then after the anger takes over, then you feel sad for the things that have happened. Because I'm talking about such things as people in white robes come into your house in the middle of the night drag your uncle out of bed and take him outside and hang him in front of you. And there was nothing you could do except watch. Because if you attempted to help him, then you would, you would also be killed too. So slavery was just coming around and it was an ugly thing. And so when we started going to the, to the white schools, it was very hard because the kids are prodigies of their parents. The parents thought that way, that blacks were subpar, they weren't intelligent, they were all thieves. They, they thought things like this. And so these things was passed down to their children. And so this is the way their children acted out when we had to go and start going to their school. They did not like it. It took a long time just to settle things down. Um, do you think that the civil rights movement made you a person that you are now? Uh -huh. do, you, do you think that the movement made you the person that you are now? I very much believe that what I went through made me the person that I am now because I had to go through that embarrassment I had to go through that hurt. Uh, I had to try to better myself in the face of all of it. And then to actually look at myself now, and I'm not saying that I'm, I'm well off, but I am very much blessed. But what I went through back then made me a different person. Um. Give, you, give you an example, you know, I, I had to grow up past that anger because whether society don't really understand that and I know it's been many years since then and we should have evolved from what we used to be but there is an anger there was an anger inside of the black race because of the way we were treated uh, the way that people saw us and even today it is not it is not free it is still out there, but it's a little bit more concealed now. But the thing that made me the person that I am, that my turning point, and I will never forget that, I had an English teacher and I was the class clown. So I made everybody laugh because I didn't want to do the work. Kind of like you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. Uh, <clears throat> but I was the class clown. And she would always get on me and say, stop playing, stop playing. She'd tell me, she'd say, you, you could do this work if you would apply yourself. So what she did is she took my desk, put it right up front next to her desk. So when I put it there, I turned it facing the class. She said, no, you turned it facing the board. So I can't see anybody behind you. And I'd sit there and she'd do her, her uh, lectures and everything. And Every time I turn around to make a joke, she'd take a ruler and pop me on the hand. But it got my attention. And the thing of it is, is this was a, a white teacher 
Her name was Mrs. Charles Hamrick. Her husband owned a jewelry store in this little town. Out of all the teachers in the school, out of all the people in the school, not many white teachers reached out to the kids. You know, they just did what they had to do and let them go. But she took a special interest in me, and she made me learn. So I ended up doing very well in English. English lit, all of this stuff. And that's where I kind of picked up a lot of my education that made me become more interested in education uh, to make me want to accomplish certain things. Like when I went to school, uh, my majors and things was English. You know, uh, just all kind of things that, that had to do with English. Simply because this white lady during a time of racial injustice, put all racism aside and looked at me as just a child that needed help, that, that she knew could do the work, but had come through some bad circumstances. So a little love and care, a little tenderness and attention.